One of the most contentious cyclists in the sport's long and illustrious history is Remco Evenepoel, also known as the wonder kid of cycling to his legion of devoted followers. He triumphed over Stefan Kung, Stefan Bisega, or Tadej Pogacar in the UAE Tour 2022 by delivering a legendary performance in a time trial of Tavira, and he did so using epic strategies to win the 2022 Volta Al Algarve. This made him the people's favorite. The following recounts the final days in the life of the legendary climber Remco Ivanapoel. Want to know more about it? Don't worry, cycling right now has all of your answers, so stay tuned. Born in Alt, the Belgium in 2000, his mother Anja van Eekort is a hairstylist and his father Patrick Ivanapoel was a professional cyclist in his younger days. He's their son. Patrick, in his capacity as a professional rider, completed the Vuelta in 1993 and went on to win the Grand Prix, the Wallonie, in 1993. A young Remco's previous athletic endeavors included playing football as a left-back. He played for two different clubs for a total of 11 years. He began his professional career at the age of 5 with Anderlecht. He moved on to PSV Eindhoven when he was 11 and then came back to Anderlecht when he was 14 years old. The extraordinary stamina that Remco possessed was recognized very early in his career as a football player. When he went to PSV for a few years at the age of 11, he had a huge VO2 max. The youth team coach of Anderlecht, Jean Kindermans, said in an interview with the Belgian sports channel Sporza, the maximum oxygen absorption capacity of the body under load. He played football well enough in his youth to earn a spot in the Belgian national youth teams. However, at the beginning of 2017, he decided to focus his attention on cycling, stating that football wrecked me a bit emotionally, while claiming that cycling is more fun. In his first 44 races, Remco won 34 of them. 2017 marked the beginning of his professional cycling career, when he began with the Fort Young team. During his early races, Remco was involved in a few accidents. In July, when the season's first race was held, he had finally gotten the hang of road racing and brought home the victory. In August, he was already wearing the Blue Point classification jersey when the Basque Country Tour began and to top it off, he won the Queen stage of the race. The Juniors Kern Brussels Kern was the first race of the year that Remco won. He then went on to win the Guido Ribery Classic, the National Championships Belgium ITT and the World Championships Belgium ITT, the European Continental Championships Road Race, the Course de la Paix Juniors and the Giro de la Lunigiana are some of the upcoming races. Later on in that year, he also triumphed at the National Team Trial and Road Championships respectively. Because of the magnitude of his achievements, the media began to refer to him as the next Eddie Merckx. As a result of this decision, he leapfrogged the under-23 categories and was immediately placed in the professional peloton for his first race, which was the Vuelta a San Juan. Evenepoel came out on top at this stage, winning the young riders' his classification and placing ninth overall. He also finished third on stage three, coming in third place behind his teammates Julian Alaphilippe and Valérie Conti. Remco won the Tour of Belgium for the first time on August 3, 2019, finishing ahead of both Victor Kamenert and Tim Wellens. This was Remco's first professional victory. Then he won his first race on the World Tour by taking Classica de San Sebastian. At the time, he was the third youngest rider who had ever triumphed in a cycling classic. This year, he won Liege Bastogne Liege and won two stages in La Vuelta a España and the race itself. And that's quite incredible for any rider to win all these races continuously in a year. Ivanapol went on to win the time trial at the 2019 European Road Championships as well as the World Championships in September. This victory came less than five days after his last victory. Ivanapol kicked off the 2020 season with a victory at the Vuelta a San Juan. He took the first place in both the individual time trial on stage three and the general classification. After that, he took part in the Volta Al Algarve competition. In this area, he secured the overall triumph by claiming stage two as well as the final stage, which was a time trial. This put him ahead of Maximilian Schachmann. Following a pause in competition caused by the pandemic, he was victorious in both the Vuelta a Burgos and the Tour of Poland. Evenepoel was involved in a terrible accident at Il Lombardia after a fast turn on the Muro di Sormano crashed into a low wall on the side of a bridge over, plunging many meters below the road. This happened while he was descending the Muro di Sormano. A few hours later, his team disclosed that he had sustained a fractured pelvis as well as a contusion to his right lung. They also stated that he would not be returning to competition in the near future due to the severities of his injuries. 
The year 2021 saw him get a late start as a result of recovery and the process of determining how his body had healed from a severe injury. Remco began the season with a 7th place finish in the individual time trial ITT on the opening stage of the Giro d'Italia despite getting a late start to the season. In May, a victory on the Belgium Tour one month later followed. At the Belgian National Championships for the individual time trial and the relay, he placed 2nd and 3rd respectively. After finishing 9th in the Olympic individual time trial, he went on to win the Tour of Denmark. Evenepoel rode solo all the way to finish line on stage 3, putting in an astounding 6.5 watt per kilogram for the full 30 minutes and 23 seconds. At the tail end of the previous year, a top 10 finish at the Belgian Warfel Ride gravel race garnered a lot of media attention. Evenepoel disclosed that on the same trip he went to specialized wind tunnel to work on improving his time trial position. Adjustments have been made to the handlebars and some other things, but nothing extraordinary, revealed Tom Steeles, director of Quickstep Alpha Vinyl. But nothing has changed drastically. It's easy to notice the modifications that were made to Evenepoel's handlebars. The extensions are essentially the same from the elbow down to the wrist, however the grips are longer and slanted at a more acute angle. As a result of this stance, Rembo's hands appear to be brought closer together and higher in the air while he is in the aero position. This finding reaffirms the new adage that lower is not always faster. Remco won the individual time trial ITT of the Volta Al Algarve for the second time this year. He did so by producing 392 watts over the course of 38 minutes. Additionally, he triumphed in both the Liege Bastogne Liege race in April and the Tour of Norway a month later, included in these two additional victories at the National Championships of Belgium in individual time trial NC and the Donostia San Sebastian Classicoa. Before we wrap up, let's take a quick recap of Remco Evenepoel. For the young Belgian, the 2020-21 campaign was a tale of two halves. After missing the start of his maiden Grand Prix, Il Giro, by more than eight months due to his crash at Il Lambordia in the summer of 2020, he finally lined up in Torino for the start of the race in late spring. Not to be outdone, Evenepoel pulled together a series of impressive performances that left him in second place overall within seconds of the Maglia Rosa on the first rest day. After a serious crash in the second week, Remco was forced to retire two days before the Milano finish line. The setback only served to spur him on to further success. He won the Belgium Tour for the second year in a row not long afterward and went on to win five more races that year, including overall classification and his home city's Brussels Cycling Classic two medals at the European Championships and a bronze at the World Individual Time Trial Championships proved that Remco was back to his old form and now, in his fourth year with the team, he's eager to put what he's learned to use and continue to impress. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates. Dates.